in Jamaica, America, US, we know you know it. It was later that they passed laws again. 1833, England passed a law against Parliament, you know, and then slavery within its territories in the Caribbean. So they think that for Jamaica, Barbados, Sri Lanka, etc., were all emancipated from slavery. 1865, it ended in the United States. 1888, it ended in Britain. So overall, the Atlantic slavery continued to over 300 years. So human beings and just like torture and torture. All right, so what you're seeing right there is a sister from Jamaica. I took her, I picked her up from the airport, brought her to Asebu, and she's loving it already. So today, say hello. Hi. So we are experiencing funerals in Cape Coast. So I took uh, my beautiful Amma out, and then we are experiencing uh, the funeral event here in Cape Coast. Yes, we are. Yeah. Hello everyone! <laughs> so today, uh, it's a beautiful Saturday and then she said, Echo, I want to see the castle, I want to see the dungeon. And then Mr. Lin said, Echo, since I've been to Ghana, I've never been to the castle, so let's go. So during the tour, I met a brother of mine, Jesse is from Cape Coast, two brothers here, uh, come closer. And you remember that I did a video telling you that the African diasporan youth are getting to understand why they have to come to the motherland and learn the history somebody suffered to take them there but when i go here my brothers who are from ghana born and raised here are organizing a cool trip where they are bringing youth within the tertiary institutions here in ghana not only students but people who hail from cape coast i want to hear exactly what they have to say about the product that they are giving out to the youth. You've already told me that this is the time for the youth in Ghana or in Africa to get connected and learn more about the history. Hello, welcome to the Heritage Month. Charlie, where do you go on? Oh, all right, all right, great. So I see you guys with a lot of, a bunch of other youth working around the castle. What is going on? Tell me your name and what your organization is all about. Okay, first of all, Thank you, my name is Imano Atta, like popularly known here as Taiwan. Yeah. And this is my brother, Enoch, yeah. popularly known as Lai. Yeah. Yeah. And we are tall with me. Actually, we organized a fun trip for all the tertiary institutions in Cape Coast. And um, as my brother said, um, it's not about the fun trip, but to know the history in, the, um, in Africa, in Ghana. So we are right now in Cape Coast Castle to know a little more about the slave trade and everything. So yeah, okay. Actually, I like, okay, we, we came up with this idea just to help educate ourselves, our suite of Cape Coast here. So we decided to bring up something like, why don't we try organize um, some tertiary vibe for our UCC nursing? Even regardless whether you are in tertiary or not, we felt like you know if most of us were to be like, let's hang out. We most of the times come to the castle, but we we'll all be sitting at the beaches just to take pictures. But funny enough, we've known this castle since we were youth and all that, but then we never know the history. We always feel we like... We didn't really patronize oh, it because... We always feel like, oh, we know, we always see this thing. Yeah. So we come to conclusion, yo, if we have a brother who can educate you so we can also get the knowledge and educate people, it should be something positive. You know, it's not anything that someone needs to show you to. But as we are going, we'll be learning from people so we also feel like we've seen our brother at 360 been doing this a lot and we can still do it. and this thing was also motivating us so we felt like if our brother Echo is doing it we can start from somewhere and if, if we are turning upside down or doing something our, our brother Echo will be there to direct us and all that so we came up with this talk with me just to get the youth of Cape Coast to get them to know more about the history not just to know about yeah, castle well. Not just know about the castle and um, the carpool. We, we all hear what they say, or oh, you go to the walking tour, this, that. But then most of us haven't been there. Mm -hmm. Most of us don't know the real history behind. We just feel like we always go there to take pictures. So we thought it's about time, like we call ourselves together. Because yeah. you knowing little, me knowing little coming together, at least we can just know exactly what happened. We shouldn't always be listening to people like you. Uh, so um, um, basically, I feel everybody has roots and you know most of us most of the youths don't really know much about our roots. that's basically our ancestors so i feel every organized society um, 
have their bases, their 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 their, their roots from their ancestors. <laughs> Which from Jamaica. <laughs> Oh. oh, they're from Jamaica too. <laughs> no. Jamaica in the house. Yeah. So, like I was saying, um, it's, it's, it's basically about tracing your roots and then reconnecting with our sisters, knowing the sort of things they had to go through to to emancipate us from all of you know the struggles. Like we just went on tour, and for me, this is the first time I'm getting to really know the sort of things. Our sister has to go through to pay way for us, basically. I think so. I feel everybody has to at least make it a point to come through, you know, learn new stuff because our culture is all, all whatever we have, you know. So, like, I love, I, I love that statement, right? Because there's a saying that if you don't write your story, somebody else will write it, and the person will write it the way they see it. So, I love the idea that you guys are doing this. Uh, I hope very soon you'll get a lot of people coming. Are you open to other diasporan people who would want to come to Ghana and tour? Would you like to take them around? Yeah, yeah. Okay. actually that, that's our plan actually. We've, we've, that, we've recently finished with our um, Instagram account. We've okay. created a website and all that. Okay. Actually, this is our first major tour. We've okay. interacted with the um, students of the course, the UCC and the other secretary institutes. This is our first time. We are expecting to get bigger mm. numbers. We just started two months ago. We came up with this idea, okay. and yeah. by God's grace, here we are. A lot of people. So this being mind. our first event, we are hoping for more and yeah. more successful um, to get maybe even people from the international yeah. just to link up with us, so we can help them. So we are open to the world. Okay. So if anybody can. Come, uh -huh. yeah. They can, yeah, check, they can, you can check you out on Instagram. Instagram. Wait, with me. Tour with me. Yeah, with me. Okay. Double underscore tour with me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we are there. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, beautiful. So that's a nice conversation with me and the brothers from Cape Coast who are trying their best to put the youth into learning the culture and then the heritage of Ghana. So make I ask you something. Why are you here? Here because I want to join the tour. And it's, it's a very educating way of knowing the inside out of Cape. Hey, my name is Kesu. Um, I'm in Cape Castle with Tori Me. We came here to explore and learn our culture. Came here to go around to know where our ancestors were kept. Um, and it's really been an emotional moment and I think you should come around and learn some of the things that went on during our ancestors' time and uh, I think you should, you should be here, you should be here. I am now quitting you, Denver or Kane, maybe Antansi, and that will be, yeah, yeah, tour with me, we came with tour with me and all this stuff. We'll be going to Hans Cottage to see the crocodiles and all this stuff. It's fun, it's all fun, so I tell you guys to come along and let come with us. Bye! Bye! Tour with me! Alright, so this is tour with me, and this is a group that we are creating just to merge all the students in Cape Coast, that is the tertiary student. But then it's a big thing that we are doing just to create opportunity for them to socialize. Because now if you can see your mates in different schools, unless you see them in club, but then right now we just want to bring some initiative, like trips, just for fun games and other stuff, just to make them together so that we bring something positive out of it. You know, no, not anybody is an ancestor too. Oh, okay. You gotta so be careful. A, yeah. Yes, we there's, call a, on, yeah. there's a proverb in the Akan language. Saman Pana You name Sorry. your child after a ghost. Mm -hmm. So to us, an ancestor is someone who lived on the earth, led a good life. Okay. And if he or she is no more, we have the knowledge that that person is closer to them. So we can convey our message through that ancestor to God. We also have the knowledge that we can communicate to God through the same natural things God created on the earth. Trees, the streams, rocks, the sea, you know. Water. So before the Europeans arrived, mm -hmm. this land was a sacred ground for the local people. Mm -hmm. They communicated to God through the earth. When the mm -hmm. Europeans arrived, the people of Cape Coast had to relocate the shrine away from it. In the 70s, 
he returned the shark. So this altar was erected. On the altar there are two dark stones. The dark stone is an oracle or a deity by the name Manatari. In this town, the locals believe in 77 intermediaries that they communicate through to God. And this is the head um, oracle 